part. So today we're going to finish wheel four of our planning and wheel five. Who remembers what wheel four is though? If this is an argument, what is the fourth paragraph of the fourth wheel, Brooke? It's, um, it's acknowledging the other side's opinion. It's, the, uh, it's acknowledging the other side's opinion. We abbreviated CC for counterclaim. Okay? Now, here's the difference between a counterclaim and your two big, this one and this one were your reasons why Jonas made the right decision, right? Well, now we gotta say maybe he shouldn't have made that decision. But here's the tricky part. We've got three pieces of evidence where before we only had two. Well, that's because we're not going to develop these. We're gonna give them one sentence and then we're gonna say, mm, sorry, wrong. Then we're gonna go to weather and we're gonna say, yeah, but, you know. Then we're gonna go to chaos and say, yeah, whatever. Okay, and we're gonna move on. But you have to acknowledge it. So I always, this paragraph in an argument is actually very easy because if you pay attention to the way we write it, you can actually use the same words and plug in your own information for a different argument. Make sense? So counterclaim for me, I always start with something like the word others. Because when I go to write this, I'm gonna say something like other readers might think that Jonas should have stayed in the community, right? Why? Well, because he wouldn't have been hungry, would have had enough food, the weather would have been predictable and the same, and there wouldn't have been any chaos. So what I need now are the page numbers where these things are found. So where do we learn about hunger? Now, 217. And what's he talking about there? Is that when Gabe, when they are hungry in their escape? Yeah. Okay, is that the one we agreed on? We yeah. talked about this, I think, a little bit yesterday, right? All right, so put page 217 there. All right, what page do we talk about weather? Bro I think for the third one, we should also include the time where like, his, his like, voice is speech instructor or something, like a song when you don't know what's starting and you never will. Well, we could, yeah, he won't, that's a good one too. Which it's one do you guys wanna do? It says, but when the memory glimpses subsided, he was left with a gnawing, painful emptiness. Jonas remembered suddenly, the grimly, the, and grimly, the time in his childhood when he had been chastised for misusing a word. The word had been starving. You have never been starving, he had been told. You will never be starving. Now he was. And that's on 217, so that's the perfect one you're thinking of. Do you know where the weather one is? Yeah. Landon? I don't know, I don't know, but I, you know how irony is a vocab word? I just found irony right there because they said that Jonas will never be starving, but then he was starving. Well, he's very hungry for sure. Anyway. You got the weather one? Go ahead. 218. He and Gabriel became cold and wet. It was hard to get dry, even when the sun came occasionally falling. Ooh, I like it. Good job. That's 218. 217, home viewers, and 218. You probably cannot read that. All right, and where is chaos? Where is the word chaos mentioned? You got it, Elizabeth? 196. Okay, tell me what it says there. It says... to write, open your book to that page, kind of flip it over, and when we get ready to write, 
I want you to have that ready for me. Who is this one? Be ready, Alex. And then Elizabeth, okay? By the way, that quote is on is on is at the bottom of page 195 as well. 195? Mm -hmm. I think I, I saw you turn the page. So it starts on 195 and ends on 196. Okay. Now the last spoke in your counterclaim. I always like to say something about like even though or despite what others think, okay? So let's just put even though. And then we'll build upon that when we get there, okay? <clears throat> now, if you remember back to the first essay we wrote, not even snow, <laughs> snow's for this one. I know, it's sloppy, even though. If you remember back to when we wrote our first essay. This is actually easier to write than that because here we have to find a word that encompasses all these things. What word do you think encompasses all that? And for this one, we can leave this out because we want to look at what we want the reader to think, right? So what's a good word? Correct. Um, is it correct for him to do that? What did these things bring them? Happiness. Happiness, there you go. Excitement. You can put happiness. Okay, so the first spoke of our last wheel is always a restatement of the thesis. And I'll go over this when we write, but this is where we take this and we restate it in a different way, okay? The second spoke is always going to be a summary of the second wheel. So this is going to be a summary about Gabe, right? So you're gonna summarize paragraph two about Gabe. So what do you think the third spoke is gonna be? Uh, a summary about the experiences, right? What is that? The fourth one is going to address the counterclaim. And I'm going to teach you a way to address that so that you will always use the same exact sentence on all your essays until you get older and you start developing different things. And then we need to sound off with a powerful statement. What word do you think we should have in that statement? Give me a big, powerful word. Extravagant. <laughs> well, but make sure it's related to this. There's nothing really extravagant here. What do you think? We have happiness here. We have the decisions there. That's gonna be part of our thesis, right? What are you thinking, Liam? Um, maybe like a resolution or? Um, resolution works because this is the end, but I'm not sure that resolution fits in with this. Do you know what I mean? Commitment. Ooh, a commitment is good. What are you thinking, Elena? Ooh, what do we think, guys? Yes. Let's do freedom. And we just have to work this word into our essay. So just for the kids at home and Landon, try and get some of this other stuff filled out. Or you'll have to watch the video too. This is our counterclaim. We want to always start this with something about others or despite something like that. Our first piece of counterclaimed evidence is on page 217, and it's about food. The second one is on 218, it is about weather. And the last one is on page 195 and 196, and it's about the chaos. Now remember that chaos is going to happen to the community once Jonas is over that boundary, right? And then finally, we end this is a really good way to 
to end your counterclaim because basically you just want to sum up and say even though there you know others might think this my evidence shows okay or something like that we'll see then we restate our thesis and our fifth wheel we come up with another word that represents our idea which is his search for happiness right we restate our thesis summarize paragraph two summarize three summarize our counterclaim and end with something about their chance for freedom right what do you think good yeah all right you need to keep your paper out those of you that are in the classroom